Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Authorities in Brazil have identified a female suspect in connection with the death of a black entrepreneur from Minneapolis who became the unwitting victim of a tourist scam during a business and vacation trip to South America earlier this month. Letitia da Silva, 23, was identified by Brazil's civil police as one of the suspects in the so-called Goodnight Cinderella scheme that targeted the 43-year-old American tourist in Copacabana on August 8th. The scheme involved drugging the unsuspected man and taking his money and belongings. The second suspect has not been identified yet, but police have obtained photographs from surveillance footage. The victim, Dwayne Morris, was the president and founder of Blue Waters Consulting and the Seoul Community Development Corporation. Police said Dwayne was met with foul play inside of a rented apartment just one day after he arrived. Now, it didn't say who rented the apartment, so we don't know if this was an apartment that Dwayne and his buddy rented or was this an apartment that the girls rented in association with the crime? After being drugged, they said that Dwayne convulsed and foamed at the mouth. He was dead by the time police arrived. As for his companion, they're not saying what condition he's in. Apparently, the companion survived. A uh, fam, remember when I tell y'all, when I told y'all in the past, certain type of crimes will be solved. You commit certain types of crimes, they will solve them, just like they solve police murders. Now, this guy, Dwayne Morris, went to Brazil reportedly for a business trip. They didn't say it was nothing else. But online, people are speculating that he was a passport broke. There's nothing in the report, nothing about his personal life that would suggest that he was a passport broke. He was in a relationship with a woman who was not black in America. They apparently had a good relationship Dwayne was apparently a good guy by all indications. He was a good guy. I read some of the Facebook posts and nothing but praise, nothing but sorrow, nothing but pain, nothing but hurt. Consistently, they were saying this guy was the type of guy who was a brother to everyone, who was a, a cousin to everyone, like everybody would say. Uh, identify him as, oh, that's my cousin, you know, that's my brother. They wouldn't even be blood related, but it, it was just that his spirit was that good. Now, family, I got to call a strike a strike and a ball a ball. It does not appear that Dwayne was a passport bro. However, it does look like he had some passport bro tendencies. But what say you? Drop a comment. I love to hear your thoughts. R.I.P. Dwayne Morris. No more talk.